And you know, one other thing about I'm so tired of hearing about was show me the study. Did they have studies ancestrally speaking on what plant not to eat because it's going to kill you? Well, no. They learned by <laughs> eating it and dying. And they're like, hey, Bob ate that. Don't eat this one, right? And so it's 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 just crazy to me how we, we go about all of this. Um, Science is a great way to structure, organize, and create knowledge. It's not the only way. And so this is part of what's changed in my career. Um, I'd even say science, as powerful as it is, is the minority way of creating, structuring, and organizing knowledge. I mean, it's great. But human beings, we're not wired for science. We're wired for story. And you want, if you've got some reliable new nugget of knowledge, a graph isn't going to be what really changed the mind. You know, the graph right. has to be embedded in a story. Stories have to have characters. Those characters have to have, you know, face like moral quandaries or existential crises. We've been telling stories around the campfire for 250,000 years, probably yeah. the healthiest thing we ever could have done. And now we're going to replace <laughs> that with an equation or something like yeah. the, And I love these. I love the models that we have. They just don't teach anybody anything. Until it's reduced to a story, people can't make sense of it. 